Hey, this is Mike with the Gizzard Stone. Today we're going to figure out how to insulate my windows with energy saver window inserts from windowinserts.com. First, I got to get the ski gear off. All right, that's better. So, we've got these windows. They've been in the house for about 20 years. They're in okay shape. They're not terrible, they're not great. We've got one that's cracked and the, the insulating space between the two panes has some mist in it. We have these honeycomb blinds. They're really nice. They look, they let a lot of light in. They look really good. Um, but, but then they insulate really well, but only when they're closed. And even when they're closed, they leak a little bit around the edges. Um, and I like to come over here and open them from the top but then we've got that whole bit of window that makes it cool in here. So we want to fix that. So let's check it out. So the first thing you want to do is go to windowinserts.com and download the handy measuring form. It's right there on the front page. Print it out, looks like this. The only other thing you're going to need would be a tape measure and a Dixon Ticonderoga number two pencil. Let's get started. Okay, measuring. So this is obviously the most important part because if you get this wrong, your windows won't be the right size. Tape measure, you put the tape in the corner and usually you'll see pros and they'll bend the tape like that and, and make a guess. They're pretty good at doing that. People like you and me that don't do this all the time, the easiest thing to do is to slide the tape measure into one corner, slide it all the way back into the other corner, take the measurement, this is 43 and a half, and then the width of the tape measure box is printed right here, you just add that to it, so it's 46 and a half. Okay, so if you look at the form, it's got measurements for top, middle, bottom, left, right, center. What's that all about? Well, if you look at the measurements, here we've got 46 and a half down there, and we've got 46 at the top. So all those measurements, bottom, middle, top, left, center, and right, might be a little bit off. And they take that into account when they make your windows, when they make your window inserts. Um, and so they'll be perfect and they'll fit just right. So once you've got your measurements, you come back to the website and you go to the order page um, and you select uh, the number of the window. Number, so we got window number one and that's in bedroom number one. Uh, you select the color of the frame you want. You can choose white or brown. You select the width in inches and then you select the fraction. Then you select the height and you select the fraction 116. So then you got panel split options. A window this small is going to be single panel, no problem. Uh, bigger windows, you choose uh, left and right single panels, like some of mine are left and right, or you choose upper and lower if it's a long, hall, long, tall window. If it's a really big, wide window, you might have to go with three panels. Um, so then you add it to your cart and you go to your checkout shows you the price, it shows you the price of each window as you go, you pay, you put in your money, um, they pack them up and send them to you and you're good to go. So the window inserts come packaged really well. They're wrapped with paper and cardboard so they won't damage each other and they won't get damaged in transit. And plus, you'll have some great big pieces of cardboard for your kid to make art projects with. Okay, this is the insert. It's an extruded aluminum frame and a vinyl film in the middle. If the vinyl film is stretchy, you can poke it, you can clean it, the kids aren't going to mess it up. It's really durable and strong. It goes into the opening with no tools and no fasteners, just presses against the side of the window with this foam tape. So they're really easy to install. You just push them up into the opening and slide them on back. They'll even go in behind these blinds we have here. And that's it. Now in the summertime, when you want to get these things out of here and open up the windows, they're really easy to take out. You just grab the, hand, grab the bottom rail down here, slide it down, and out it comes. And then you just stick them in the closet and wait until winter. So the other thing to think about is skylights. Here in our kitchen, we have a skylight and when it's 20 degrees outside, it's like a ghost breathing down your neck. So I got an insert for this too. I just take this crappy plexiglass sheet out and then the insert goes in just the same way. It's a little trickier though. Wow, there's a lot of cold air coming through here. 
Insert those in kind of crooked. And straighten it out. Grab the plexiglass. And there we go. All set. Okay, so here we are back out front. This is a big window, and one insert for this window would be huge. Um, and there's an upper limit to how big that they can make these, and also there's an upper limit to how big they can ship. So what they do is they break them into two separate windows, and it can be a little bit tricky, um, but here's how it works. They take two inserts of the same size, and then this little piece of plastic H-track. And the H-track goes right in between them and holds them tight, and then you basically just shove it up into the window just like you would any other window insert. You take the H-track and you jam it on one end of one of the inserts, and then you butt the other insert right up next to it. And then I just slide it back up in behind as normal as one big unit. It's big, so it's a little awkward, but it's not that bad. And in it goes. Okay, so uh, do they work? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, they definitely feel warmer. Um, there's definitely no more drafts. Um, it, it seems like the heat cycles less. Now, when I use this infrared thermometer to gauge the temperature of the window, they're about the same. So a window with an insert is about the same temperature as a window without an insert from the inside of the house. However, when I go around to the outside of the house, a window with an insert is about um, five degrees cooler than a window without an insert. Um, so what that tells me is that the window with the insert is keeping more heat in the house, and the window without an insert is letting more heat out through the window. So that's definitely a good thing. <clears throat> um, are they worth it? Well, if you were to replace just one window with a good double or triple pane window, a nice window, even without installation, they're gonna cost you six, seven, eight hundred bucks per window. Um, and for that amount of money, you can get uh, seven or eight or nine of these window inserts for your house. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a good deal, particularly if you have single pane windows or if you have really old vintage retro windows that you wanna you want to keep for just because they look cool. If you're thinking about getting those iron-on windows that you can get at Home Depot, the little cheesy film that you stick to the window and then shrink with a heat gun, these are definitely better than that and you don't have to throw them away at the end of the year and you're not gonna mess up your paint with tape and all that. So, yeah, I think they're worth it and they work and they're worth checking out. Thanks. To do this project, you'll need some paracord. I used about 24 inches. You'll need some Gorilla Tape. The one inch Gorilla Tape is what I used for this. You'll need about 24 inches of that. You'll need a lighter to burn the ends of the paracord. You'll need a pair of scissors or a knife. And you'll need a straw. Start off with a two foot length of paracord and tie a diamond knot in one end with as small a loop as possible. The diamond knot is going to be the beginning of the keychain here and make this loop as small as you can.